did. Yep. Hello. Welcome Hello. To Myers and Bells. My name is Lauren. And my name is Ian. And we are testing new sound equipment. We've been waiting seven weeks. If anyone out there could give us a thumbs up up top or a comment in the section of the chat, that make sure that our volume is working and we'll get to our lift real, real soon. So swings and strength and swings tonight. Follow a long workout at home. Mm -hmm. We'll be revisiting what we worked on last week, similar warm up, some bears and goblet squats, some get ups, and some single iron swings and cleans. And then our conditioning piece towards the end, finishing with our single arm swings, cleans, and presses in a little bit of a circulatory pattern, if you will. To start, let us breathe. Kneeling, seated, on our back. On our back. Whew. Breathe like. Yeah. We're going to do that box breath we did on Sunday morning. So hands on your belly, mouth closed, eyes closed if you like. You're going to take an inhale for five seconds. And then hold for five seconds. Exhale for five seconds. Hold for five seconds. Repeat, inhale five, hold five, exhale five, hold five. One more time, inhale five, hold five, exhale five. And last hold, five, three, two, and relax. Ah. How is that down there, Ian? It's great. Great. I do find myself a little bit jumpy, a little bit anxious. You might want to breathe, but trust that you can breathe Why would you five anxious? seconds at a time. Because right. you have to think about your breath. It's tough. However you're seated, okay. we're going to move into our head neck a little bit. Taking our face or our chin and just gently sliding it forward and then tucking our chin and stacking all of our vertebrae, making a double chin. Just stay here for a couple seconds. Undo that head forward position. Maybe tilt ahead a little bit. I like that ear to shoulder motion. Last one. And then relax, but don't go too far out of that. We'll go some full circles right away. Gently chucking your chin towards your chest. Taking your chin and scraping it along the collarbone. When you get to the end of that collarbone, turn your head ear to shoulder. Roll through the back of your head and neck, not just cranking on your neck back there, keeping that chin tucked a little bit. Ear to other shoulder, chin turns down, Scrapes back down to center. Repeat other direction. Chin across clavicle. Ear to shoulder. Roll through the back of your head neck. Ear to other shoulder. Chin turns down. Scrapes back to center. Lovely. It's been a while since I've done that version. I like that too. It's nice. Arms out in front. Uh, extended hands or fists, we're going to move our blades. Keeping your elbows nice and straight, push those arms away from you so your blades come around your body. Now pull your blades back together, pinching a pencil, but don't push your chin or head forward. Reach those arms forward, pull those blades back. Now keep them back there, pull them up into your ears, and then pull them down. Up into your ears. Now, when you pull them down, get those lats fired up. Juice an orange in your armpit. Three, two, push through the water to get your hands to your side and relax. Great. Would you like to rib slide us? Coming back to those ribs, I'd love a little rib slide. Okay. Squeezing your bum, either from a kneeling position or our standing position. I'll stand, my feet are Excellent. 
Squeeze your butt cheeks to add a nice base of support at the bottom. We went front back last time at the head neck. Let's go sideways first. At the rib cage, could we do our lateral slide? Center, lateral slide, center. The space between those ribs and hips stays the same. We're just sliding left and right. Repeat one more each way and last. Now try front back from any position of your choice. Extend that T-spine, pushing your heart forward and flex or round through the T-spine. In a flexed position, retract your shoulders, push your T-spine forward into extension. With shoulder blades in retraction, flex the spine. Repeat one or two more. Pushing forward extension through the spine and flexion. Return center. Let's move on to those wrists. Wrists, yeah, sure. little wrist rolls. Sorry, I was wrist rolls, open those hands, lace those fingers together. Get five or six or seven going this way. And then switch your direction. And then open your hands, place them behind your back. Whoa. Close your eyes. And can you try that same thing? Ooh. And then switch directions. A little bit different. Mix it up every now and then. Your turn. Excellent. We're going to move into our peaks and valleys oh, yeah. and then end up on the floor. Nice. So I'm standing, so I'm going to work my way down to my peak, which is also known as a down dog. Or down dog or elephant. Hands finding the floor, tail tilted towards the ceiling, pushing your heels towards the floor, breathing, maybe gently bending one knee and straightening the other. I like to do that the first couple times through. Passing through center, squeezing glutes, pulling your shoulders down, and squeezing and lifting your heart and chest to your valley or your up dog. Try to pull those shoulders down again. Toes have untucked, squeezing glutes. Retuck toes. I have a belt around your hips and I'm gonna pull you up to the ceiling. Use your core. Use to do those that. abs. Same Use thing. those abs. Think of that ribs that we just did, pushing your ribs or your chest through towards your knees, tilting your tail to the ceiling. Squeeze your glutes, maybe roll over through your toes and to that up dog again or, or valley. Mm. Let's do one more. Then we'll come down to your push up though. So one last tail to the ceiling, elephant stand, whatever you'd like to call this. Gripping the floor too, right? Nice yeah. relationships with the floor. Then push your weight through into a push-up position. And for five seconds, we'll lower ourselves all the way down to the floor. Three, two, and you're down. And we'll flip over briefly for our back. Pull our lots of pullovers because we're going to be going overhead in our workout today. So we must prepare for this. Check in all the time. My knees are bent, my feet are flat on the floor. I'm going to take my arms up over my chest. Palms Which way are you facing? <laughs> okay, good. We're good, we're good. Palms facing each other, shoulders pulled down, chin is tucked. Check in with your low back and your rib cage. I want you to push your rib cage or brace your abs so your rib cage comes down to the floor. I want that to be more on the floor than that focus to be crushing that low back into the floor. From here, hands face each other. Pull your shoulders down, keep your elbows straight. Slowly bring your arms to your overhead. They might not find the floor that first time or any time, that's okay. Just checking in with your chin tuck, your rib flares down, your feet are planted, your elbows are straight. Now push through that water again, to get your arms back up over your chest. Let's do that again. Keeping the elbows straight, keeping your shoulders down out of your ears so they're set, not letting your ribs flare up. Our arms are coming to our overhead. Oh, hey there. Hey, Switch touchy, down. touchy. Little handsies. Now, pull back through the water to get that back up. Great. Take a pause off that. 
hands are at your side, knees are still bent. I want you to just take one leg, bring your knee towards your chest, and then gently extend at the knee. I like to put my hand on the front of my quad as I do this. I'm gonna extend my knee, pull my toes towards my shin, and then use some tension through the back of my leg to close that leg. Let's do that with the other side. Knee comes in, gently straightens to your straight with that dorsiflexed foot, and then closes like you're kicking through water, all the way to close, deep knee bend, other leg back up. Bend, slowly extend, create tension across that knee and into that quad by making yourself resist your own movement. And close last time, full close, full knee bend, and last one on the other side, knee comes in, gently straightens, oh, cramp close, firing up your hamstrings for our swings later today, all the way to deep knee bend, place that foot down. One more set of our pullovers, and then we'll move on. Back to the same, let's do the exact same thing. Palms face each other, elbows straight, shoulders down, ribs tucked, feet are planted, knees are bent. Start moving those arms to your overhead. Remember, check in with those blades, keeping them out of your ears. Oh, that's nice. And like I've said before, I love this stretch through my upper back. And then use the water, push against it. Lats, 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 lats. One more time. Reset blades, elbows straight, slowly overhead. Do you get my water cue, Ian? Pulling through, Pushing making heavy. Water. Here we go. I think a heavy concrete. I know, but that's scary being trapped in that. Okay. Whew. All right. Oh. Flipping over. Great. Great. Into our bear position. Hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. We've been transitioning from our bear to our goblet squats, and that's exactly what we're going to continue doing. Hands gripping the floor, shoulders are down. Tuck your toes. Let's pause and just lift our knees off the floor. Pull everything together underneath you. Pull five, four, three, two. Fully relax knees down for a second. Let's do that one more time. Get ready. Tension up, knees lift, pull. Five. Four, high tension, three, two, stay hovering. Maybe your feet have to step a little wider. Walk your hands back, end up in your low squat position here. Heels are heavy on the floor, chest is lifted. I'm using my elbows this first time through just to gently push open my knee and my hip because that feels so great. Oh, I thought you were just gonna get up and leave. Nope. Now, put your hands Just modifying a squat. Extend your hips up. Oh, dangle, hang out. Pull your butt back down. Walk yourself back out to your bear. Hold the bear position again. Knees are hovering off the floor. Holding, pulling tension together for four, three, two, soft landing. One more time. You might try to lift a foot. Screw in those hands. Wrists gripping. Hands gripping, lift knees, pull the floor together underneath you. Maybe you lift a foot, don't twist. Three, two, switch feet, don't twist. Both feet down, pull the floor together, walk your hands back up, pushing your butt back, back to your low squat. Cool. Low squat hangout. Got yeah, Ian's in that modified squat a little bit. From here, let's come. Standing up tall, don't go too far. Let's find that squat again. Pushing the knees out, sitting down nice and low. Do whatever feels nice here. Push a knee over a toe. Drive open a hip. Try to lift your chest. When you're done, both legs up. Great, that was lovely. All right, time to get into some get ups today. Excellent. And warming up our single arm adventures. I'm going to take a light ish bell and do a get up on my right side and a get up on my left side. And then I'm going to get probably a different bell for myself and do some stop swings. We're going to be going between a get up right left and some stop swings, some stop and some presses.
Then it's the kettlebell. To do a get up. Or body. I'm going to 24 kg bell for my get up. Slightly heavier. For the Work on one at a time. I'm using my get up as my warm up here. My swings and my presses and my cleans are going to be my heavier stuff tonight. We're going to do this all together, so just follow along when I say go. You should think about going. Get ready in five seconds. A three, five second type of interval. Yeah, yeah, a nice amount of time. No rushing through your get up. Three, two, little cuddle, roll, press. Take your time. It's your first get up of the day, unless you did them earlier. And I want to know about it. One move at a time. Controlling on both the up and the down. When you're done. Nice thinking, City Lauren. Thank you. Synchronized. When we're done, we're going to wait about another five seconds. Take advantage of that cuddle. Three, two, if you're ready to join us, other side. That was good. Ready? Just nice and, nice and groovy the way it should be on your first one. A couple exercises, and we talked through a lot of exercises, but that's an exercise I don't like to talk through. All right, stop swings. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Like the three, the five? What's Sorry, our number? Just getting my that appropriate here. We're going to go about let's, What's your number? I'm going to pick five each five. I'm going to do five stop swings. Each arm. So that's single arm swings. One full swing, bell sets back down and rests. Five each side of five too many, do less. Here we go. Pack shoulder, inhale to pull, strong at the top in that plank position. I'm going to shake it out before I do the other side. I'm going to think of both, both hips swinging through and keeping my shoulder packed this whole time. Here we go. One. I think my swings are feeling our bike rides and our gardening efforts. Yeah. It felt a little sense. slow, so I hope I can pick up that it spark. Be fast, but the yeah, it's got to have a little snippy snap. The spark is fast. Ian was a ditch hog this weekend. Ditch, I said. Ditch hog in our garden. 10 seconds, we're getting back to our get ups. Digging trench and fences. One again each side. In five. Three, two, one full get up. Excellent timing. Ha. Take your time. And I do think I was able to do all that trenching, gardening, because I do this. Yeah. Used to that nice, consistent, hard work. Five. Class with Lauren. Three, <sighs> two,
Great get ups. Great get ups. And then get up any way you want. Take a second. Yeah. Stop what now? Yes, so we just did some stop, stop swings. what? So now you're all prepared to stop clean. Ooh. One full clean to rack through back down. Return. Nice. Okay. I'm again going to do five each side. Pick your number. Hips both come through at the same time. I'm aiming for three. Tight at the top. Here we go. Pack shoulder. Inhale, zip up your jacket. Through. Full stop. I'm going to focus on not having elbows, hips. Both hips. Nice. Lauren just talked about those hallmarks of the swing. Both hips. Hallmarks of the swing before we switch sides. Lauren, do a quarter turn. Quarter turn. Hallmarks of the swing. Vertical shins. Back. Maintain our gorgeous extension. And at the top, she could take it. That's it. Stiffer. That had sound to it. It's a little fast. Switching sides. All right, five the other arm. And finish with integrity, with power. Like you could do more. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do more. Let's save it for the next time. All right. One more set of get ups there, Lauren. One more set Lauren. of get ups. Awesome. Same time parameters. Oh, 10 seconds will go. Excellent. it will be maybe our last get ups tonight. I never like to promise that because we really need to speak to. I like doing a get up at the end too. Yep. Uh, one more. One more other side. Feeling we'll the fire inside now. Ian is. I'm not sure if I feel the fire. I feel the rain. Sounds like a song. Three, two, here we go. And then we have our last set of, ooh. Right, yeah, so I wanted to warm up our presses in this set. Nice. Maybe a little lighter bell than what you're going to press in the future, if that's an option for you. If not, just know this is a warm up set of presses. What am I going to do to warm up? I like to pattern. Two or three? Yeah, I nice like slow to push three, because it gives my shoulder and mind knowing what's going to happen. Gets and that to pattern press. going? Yeah. But if that's too many for you, press less. If that's not enough, actually, I wouldn't really recommend this anymore. All right, pick an arm. About one to three reps on that side. Getting ready to press later. Actually, didn't mean to use this bell. So again, this is our groove. What are those habits you'll do in the real thing? The breath, the tension. And picking the right load, Lauren. I know. Pick the right load. Five, three, two, second arm. Nice. How'd that go? It was good. Wait, I think. You okay? Yeah. I'm just going to make a little bit of sound here. I'm sorry. Hopefully that fixes things maybe on a press. All right, so we did this workout. We were introduced to this conditioning piece here in Poland when we were there last September. 
whatever it was. What we're going to do is every 30 seconds, you're going to be doing something. At the top of the minute, you're going to do five swings on your right. On the 30 seconds, you're going to do five swings on your left. Next minute, you're going to do five cleans on your right. Then the next 30 seconds, so every 30 seconds, right? Bottom of that minute, 30 seconds, five cleans. Next 30 seconds, press it one to three times. Put it down, next 30, press it. So one whole round takes three minutes, okay? Yep. And Swings, cleans, and presses. Right. And I hope to do this, I have three to four times written down. So let's get through three for sure, and we'll talk about our fourth. Get yourself organized. Nice. Is that what you're using? Yeah, and my numbers are going to be more along those lines of the number three, just, like I, just so I can stay nice and fresh. As Lauren mentioned, four to five sets to get through. Graduate at a heavier three bell. Three to four. Three to four. Three, three to four. four. three to four. Graduate a heavier bell next workout or later in the set. Let's go in 15 seconds. Pick something you can do with integrity. So in 10 seconds, we're picking a hand. We're doing five swings. We're putting it down. And then at the next 30, we go on the other hand. Three, single arm swings. Two, about five. Continuous. Bell goes down, take your time off, right? I did Feel five again. I pulled a Lauren on that. Can't count. count Gotta time. learn how to count, Ian. Gotta learn how to count. Five swings feels fair, though. No, it feels nice. Well, last week, we remember we got up to ten. Tens, so right? Five. Yeah. Other hand. Three. Two. Second hand. Same move. Whew. So there we go. Continuing half the 30 seconds again. Five or so cleans continuous as well. Could be the same weight, could be a lighter weight. When we did it in Poland, the weight went heavy, medium, light. Three, two, here we go. Continuous cleans, zipping up the jacket, unzipping the jacket, all while in a foam boot. Yeah. Nice. And again, that refining task, Lauren, to push that hand through. Push that hand through. Punch the ceiling. Get that Five. load to the rack. Three, two, one, five. Sorry, I'm gonna hit my. And there's our five. Mic I know, I'm adjusting my mic a little bit too. I hit it. Okay, nice. 10 seconds. This is our press of this round. Pick your bell. One to five, it depends on the kettlebell you're working with. Three, two, try to just be consistent. Wait, don't go yet, Ian. Or is that the same arm? Same arm. Okay, go ahead. Ian. So again, I'm doing a little bit of a drop set. Something heavy, something light. He confused me, sorry. We go in five seconds. The second arm of the presses. Three, two, hip up. That first one's always so hard. Oh. But I failed on that last week, so that's fun. I have five, surprisingly. So, if you've done your presses, you've done a full round of this. Nice. Excellent. A couple more to go. You don't get that long. Three. Okay. Two. Single arm swings. Five. Whew. Shake it out. Fifteen off. Loose. Stay. Yeah, especially loose. that grip. I like to keep that grip. Hand loose in my off time. Five seconds. Three. A two. Swings. Good 
Yeah, like that. You sweaty? Is it the fire? Is it the rain? What are you feeling? Seconds. Ah. Seasonal allergies. Seconds, clean. Three, two, cleaning. Bang! Nice and quick on those things. Yeah, those feel good. Oh, because I use our own belt. Darn it. Those are so light. Five. Keep track of your counting. Should I be eating? And your load. Three, two, here we go. That felt more normal. <sighs> Chris, it's intense. Two, two kgs, five pounds, huge difference. Be patient. Okay. Pressing. Three, two, pick your number. So what I did is round one, I did fives. This time I'm going fours with my presses. And I'm just adding one. Doing one heavy, adding one. Four, three, two. Finishing up your second round. On to round three. In five seconds. Oh, that comes around quick, Lauren. Yeah. Back to three, swings. Two, two, swing it. Yep. Also remembering to breathe like we did earlier. Take that breath into your belly as you're recovering. But then yes, as Ian said, brace on that exhale when you swing. Three, two, in. It's always a battle for me to keep my shins vertical on that last rep. Stay back, keep the shoulder pack. <laughs> All right, cleans. Five seconds. Or use the right bell. Three, two, go. Ooh. A little arky there. Got a little turn away. Modify those reps. Well, sometimes I put Check too much out. power into it and not enough guidance. You know? Five. Three. Two. Five. Zip. Two. Let's work. Guidance is a great word. I'm gonna tame that arc mm -hmm. on that bell. Zipping it, taking it close to your body on that up, using your hips. In five. Back to that press. Three presses, three, two, up. <laughs> Sound like a baby lion back there. I mean, a bit strong, Lion. 10 more seconds. Catching your breath in five, second arm. Three, two, one. Excellent. I loved 
Keep going in. I love doing a fourth round, so I'm going to. If you're done with three rounds, no problem. In five seconds. It's gonna make my grip strength okay for those swings. Three, two, last round. Oh, that was a good fifth. It's always nice when you can finish on that strong rep. Finish with strength. I was upping my swing rep, so I didn't tell you. Oh, I'm happy I can keep it at five. Get ready. Three. Mm -hmm. Last set of swings. Two. One. Oh. No arc on that one. That looked pretty darn strong. Cleans. Cleans. Oh, Still yeah. clean. Five seconds. So Tame cleans. that arc. Three. Clean the bell. Two. One. Cleaning one of those is hard. Yeah. The double cleans. What double cleans? I find them easier. Like two bells. If you know what that double clean is, is it easier? Three, I find it easier. Two. Easier to not get twisty. Yeah. Like I just did. Ha. Five. Last set of press, is Ian. I'm in. This is round four. Consistency. Consistency. Get ready in five seconds. Last set. Three, two, strong. Two. Now you could have squeaked out one or two more. I don't like squeaking things out though. I like pumping them out. 10 more seconds. Last set of presses today. Yeah. Three, two, one. Last set of presses. One. I how many I have to do. Good job, Ian. Finish that up. How did that go for you? Two times. Might have been more fun in Poland. I don't know. It was pretty great here with you, but in Poland, I got both two pierogies and a six kilometer walk home after. It was good. We're just going to let me just rest here. But then I'd like to finish with a couple. Oh, I'm rested. Oh, okay. I'd like to finish with a couple single arm rows. Get those lats pumping a little bit, okay? Excellent. So I'm going to set up body weight in my belt in my single arm row position. I might, if I was at home, do a coffee table or a couch here and do this. I would maybe do that on the windowsill, but oh, you can see me actually. I'm going to do that. So yeah, body weight unassisted. I will brace with my off arm. Making sure I'm staying square. This rep structure similar to what we just just did. Anywhere from one to five reps. Single arm rows. Think about those lats as you're pulling. Let's talk through the first couple and then continue. Grip your belt. Back your shoulder. Lift your belt off the floor with your body. Retract your shoulder blade. Don't bend your elbow. Now engage that lat. Pull. Retract the shoulder at the top. Keep the blade there, extend the arm. Let's reset the shoulder. Pull the blade back, row through lat. Extend the arm, we're gonna do three. Repack the blade, row, hold, three, two, extend, place belt down. Ooh. Nice. Taps are turning on here. The taps are on the rows. Same thing, other side for three. Set up, make sure that opposite shoulder is packed even though you're not using it. 
Grip your belt, pull that shoulder down, lift the belt off the floor, retract the blade, row, hold, extend the arm, repack the blade, pull, extend the arm. One more time, blade, hold, three, two, extend, and down. We'll do a little stretch in between. And then we'll do that one more time. What's a stretch? It's hot. It's a it's a back corner. That back corner is hot. It is a hot corner back there. Make fun of Ian instead of stretch. Okay. Back for a row one last time. Okay. Three again. Same pattern. Grip bell. Remove bell from floor. Pull shoulder back. Then pull. One. Repack shoulder. Row. Juicy in your armpit every time. Hold three, Oops. two, and lower. We were just saying we don't get a lot of pulls in since we haven't been in the studio as much. And even though we have a pull up bar above us and one at our house, we haven't done that many. So get these rows in while we can. Integrating the pull, it's super strong. Pinch, grip fill, retract blade, pull. One. Retract blade again. Two. And one last time. Setting shoulder, pausing at the top. Three. Two. And lower with control. Down. Oh, I do like I do like those bat wing rows. Yeah. Really A quick lot. to finish up. Excuse me, sorry. We'll sit in that hurdler stretch just for a couple seconds. Ooh. This was a new favorite from this weekend. Nothing crazy. Though. Everything the same but different here. We'll keep going modified here. Think of a lunge. It gets crazy. Think of a lunge, and I'm going to have both knees bent. Oh. I'll probably end up looking at my elbow here. It might be a little bit easier on your neck. My elbow. You could also look straight ahead, whatever feels safe and comfortable. From here, pull or adduct that leg into the floor. Pulling in. Can you feel that lateral bum cheek work? Can you feel those adductors work on the inside? Whew, hang out to that. I'm gonna switch, Lauren can stay there. <clears throat> so from that same position then, could you extend the front leg? Relax the back hip, opens up. Repeat one more time with a bum squeeze or a hip extension and pull that leg down or into the floor. Hold that for three, two, and relax. It's in the groin. Now sit up tall-ish. If you can. In a hurdle. You can also stay on your elbow. And with that front leg now, the kneecap is facing up. Lauren's the cue of dorsiflexing that ankle, pulling the foot to the shin. And now just for one moment of each version out the back, for 10 seconds, try to lift the knee. Oh, I said The knee. foot stays heavy and the knee might lift for eight, Seven, six, and breathing into that for two seconds. And relax. For one repetition as well. Now, cramp up this front leg and try to lift up the ankle in the back. The knee will stay heavy without that lean, Lauren. Ow. And gently trying to lift Sorry. it. Even if your foot just rocks on the floor, so we're trying to lift this it's ankle. all good. Two more seconds. Relax. Peel yourself out of that. And we'll take that same turn on the other side. To all of you who got a hip cramp on that. So we're set up in our lunge. Looking at that elbow down here might be better for your neck. I'm going to look at Lauren because she's lovely. Ooh. And now I'm pulling that adducting so that Lauren's back leg, our back leg here, is being pulled into the floor for five, four, three, two. Relax it. The hip will probably open up. I'm overdoing it, but it will do something like this. Bring it back, pull into the floor, and gently straighten the knee. Hold, 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 breathe, breathe, and then sit up tall. Sit up tall, ankle dorsiflex, knee straight, cramp up this tension on the quad, and for 10 seconds, gently try to leave the foot on the floor in the back, but lift the knee. Doesn't have to move a lot but do talk to those lateral hip muscles for two, one and done. 
for the final repetition here tonight, gently try to lift the foot from the bum, Lauren, not the ankle. You're up, but do it from the bum. It's there. from the bum, don't you worry. The flat foot it's from, from the, the bum. bum. Two more seconds, two more seconds. Relax and peel yourself out of that one. Well, I'm glad I asked for that. Whew. Yes. Thank you very much for following along tonight with our strength and swing session. Should we call it sweat? Just straight up sweat. Lauren, sweat. Strength, swings. Sweat. Sweat. Anyway. That's my middle name right now. tomorrow at 9 a.m. Yep. For our live recharge and, recharge and restore. Or tomorrow night for a mobility club. Or again on Thursday at 5 p.m. Yep. Lots to choose from from our online classes. If you are a subscriber, please subscribe. If you're not on the mailing list, send us an email with your contact. And we can give you links to all classes for the week. Thank you very much for being with us here tonight. We continue to train strong. We continue to be strong. Train simple. Train simple. Be strong. Be strong. And we'll see you in class soon. Thanks very you. much. Have a good night. Questions always email us or let us know. Have a great evening. Chicken for dinner, by the way.